So this is the Boltzmann distribution. If you recall, imagine a box full of gas particles. Uh, how are those energies or speeds of the gas particles distributed? Well, it depends on their temperature. This curve here is for the lower temperature. The yellow one is for the medium and the flatter, longer curve is for the higher temperature. Notice that there's the activation energy and the catalyzed activation energy here. The catalyzed activation energy is a lower energy. That's what a catalyst does, lowers the activation energy. So what questions could the IB ask you? Well, they could ask you to explain what this little part is here. So which curve is that? Well, it's the middle curve, so it's the middle temperature, and these particles have energy equal to or greater than the activation energy. So here's the trick question. They'll ask you, do those chemicals react? Maybe, maybe not. They have enough energy, but don't forget there are three things you need to have a successful chemical reaction. Collision in the correct geometry and with energy greater than activation energy. So these had the energy, but maybe they don't collide, or maybe they don't collide in the correct geometry. What about this area here, these two together? So this is for the higher temperature. So these particles have energy greater than activation energy at the higher temperature. And notice this area is greater. A greater area implies more of these atoms have enough energy to react. Let's look at the catalyzed part. They've asked about this section now, this whole section here. So what does that represent? Again, it's the high temperature curve. And these have, and the atoms represented here have energy equal to or greater than the catalyzed activation energy. And that's even bigger. They've yet to ask about this little thing. I think that's probably meaningless, or these parts of the jigsaw, but I think they could ask you about this central part. I think it's legitimate to ask about the central part here, and I think those are the extra atoms that have enough energy at the high temperature when you add a catalyst. And we're done.